Hey there guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week two of season three of the Pokemon Premier League Division 1. That god that's a mouthful, isn't it? This week we are against West Chan United, coached by uh, sorry, managed by Liam, also known as Unlawful Exile, part of the pair of exiles. As you can see, uh, our teams are on the screen. I did bring the same team that I bought in my team builder. Make sure you go and watch that if you want to know more about my team. Um, I can't really tell you much about Liam's team without spoiling the battle. Uh, make sure you go check out his side of the battle because obviously it will have his sets, uh, his four processors and whatnot. But looking at the team matchups, uh, I forgot about Galvantula. I did mention that in my team builder. But you know, he bought a lot of things that I thought he would. So my plan of action of um, keeping Hazard away before setting up spikes uh, was a go. So we're going to hop into the battle and we're going to see how well this worked out for myself. I, I love having a good plan, but when it works, it's so good. Alright, so this week we have music from the Hoenn anime, it's the Elite Four music, and I just like the clapping and horns and trumpets or whatever the hell's in it, it's, it's cool. Anyway, I lead off with my Zorok, hoping he love from you, but he leads with Mamo, and I need Zorok, so I'm going to swap straight out of there into Skarmory. I'm not going to click U-turn, just because I don't want to run the risk of it being a Scarf. Mamo swap home, he does switch out, showing he is scared of the dumb Manitan, switches straight to Vaporeon, which is nice. Now, as he didn't lead off with any defoggers or such, I'm going to start setting up spikes. He hasn't set up his own hazards yet, which is nice. Um, and he's just going to stay in school. Now, it does uh, about 40% to me, which is uh, quite nice. I think that might be a low roll um, based on the damage we see later on in the battle. But um, this Vaporeon is easy to for Lashana the floor. Just, I'm pretty sure Heliolisk uh, walls it. We only ever see three moves from this Vaporeon. Um, I don't know what its fourth move was. It's either going to be Heal Bell as a general cleric or um, Ice Beam for my Latios. But we'll see the other moves uh, soon. So he does get the school burn on my floor, just for which I am grateful for. One, it means he can't toxic me if he has toxic. Two, it's better than on Skarmory. Because Skarmory wouldn't have lived another school after a burn. So I do get the wish off. Obviously, I'm going to want to try and get this to Skarmory if I can. Um, no pressure to do so, though, because I can easily switch in Skarmory on Mamoswine and on um, his Venusaur and Heal Bell. Not Heal Bell. And Roost Up myself. Here I decide to go for Heal Bell. I'm going to scout out and see what he wants to do here. Probably continue to click Scald uh, because, you know, if I swap Skarmory in, it's going to take a lot of damage and the Wish will pretty much be useless. But Wish and Heal Bell combo means that Floor just is back to full and it looks like nothing's ever happened. At this point, I take a gamble and think, you know, his only offensive move is Scald, so I can switch into my video list pretty freely. Now, in my team builder, you know that I am Scarf because I was fearing the potential Staraptor. Um, it kind of bit me a bit because he had Protect, so he's Wish Protect School so far on his Vaporeon, which means it's going to be annoying to play mind games with his Mamoswine. So here, I'm switching big and the switch into Mamoswine is obvious, which is why I get back into Skarmory, because I can start setting up spikes again, roost up, but he actually wishes here, so he makes a really ballsy play. He probably just knew he could live a Volt Switch, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, the wish play was nice. I go into Skarmory, I don't want to stay in. Chances are he's probably going to protect, so I could have clicked Roost, but I didn't want to risk getting School Burn, because if he did get a School Burn, he would have killed me. But he actually pulls the switch here into Mortimer, which is his Galvantula, which I didn't prep speed-wise for, um, but I wasn't too worried about it in general, because, you know, I have I have this gorgeous looking thing here on my screen. Um, he actually decides to set up Sticky Web. Now, I wasn't going to be able to know from this, because I just thought... Um, you know, as Moonblast does so much damage here, holy poop! I know this thing isn't uh, isn't bulky at all, but I have, like, no investment in this thing offensively, and it just, you know, does 75%. Now, it turns out that that Galvantula was Trace Specs, which is why he had to switch. Now, I wasn't too scared of Sticky Web yet. Um, a lot of my offensive friend, uh, offensive threats are affected by it. Mega Latios and Skarmory aren't, so... I know I've got one layer of spikes up, but as it's only one layer, I'm not too bothered about defogging. Even if I had three layers of spikes up at this point, I think I'd still want to defog, because the minus one speed would hinder me more than the three layers of spikes hinders him um, at this stage of the battle. So he does go for the wish, that's why I uh, switch in Skarmory. I'm expecting the wish. Um, I'm expecting him to want to try and pass it on to um, Galvantula. I also get my own wish off, which is lovely. Um, and now, here, I'm going to click Drill Pick, because I have nothing to lose from it. I know Schools won't kill me, even if it's a crit. If it burns me as well, that's fine. I'm going to click Drill Pick, because if he wants to wish past this thing, 
Uh, it, it's not going to work. This is like his main way of taking down Skarmory. The fact that I can take down Galvantula so early on in the game and stop Sticky Web from getting up again is fantastic. So that thing goes down. Now he's going to really struggle to take down Skarmory. In comes Venusaur. I have no problem with staying in. I am safety goggles. I wall this thing to hell and back unless he, have, uh, unless he has HP fire. So he mega evolves and I'm like, he's going to click HP fire, isn't he? He's actually done it. Um, but no, I did prep 100% correctly. I am going to be like the perfect counter to this Mega Venusaur and uh, dodge the sleep powder thanks to my safety goggles and I'm going to get my default off, which means no more sticky web. So Sticky web can't be put back up. There is still a chance that he can have Stealth Rock on his Mew or his Mamoswine. So I have to keep Skarmory around for that and then I can start hazard stacking. So in comes Chew the Mew. Pretty sure I actually do start hazard stacking because he hasn't got his rocks up yet. Um, one layer of spikes is also nice to have, you know, I mean, it's a general, like, 10% off everything, because why not? Uh, I'm going to switch out because I don't know what kind of Mew this is, and I figure that Lashana will probably be the best thing to scout out and see what it does. Um, turns out this Mew goes to the Taunt. Uh, he obviously didn't want me setting up on him, which is fair play, because, you know, I could have if he didn't have that. Um, here he goes for his Stealth Rock, so my na next my action of plan is to try and default away um, Stealth Rocks before I set up any more spikes, because otherwise it would be a waste of time. So I click Moonblast um, just to gauge whether this is physical or special. Um, right now I can't even remember whether I figured out if it was special or physical or not. But you know, uh, he goes for the taunt here, uh, predicting my switch into Skarmory I'm assuming. Because obviously the defog is uh, looking like a good option for me right now. I click Moonblast again and it's brought it down to a range where I'm thinking right, he's going to heal himself up. Uh, with soft boiled or roost or something if he has it. So I'm going to use this opportunity to switch into Zorok. Disguised as Darm. Now, I use this to my advantage. The fact that I don't take as much rock damage as Darm normally would shows I'm Zorok. And I wanted Liam to know that I'm Zorok. He taunts me here, which is perfect, so I have no, like, non offensive moves. Now he knows I'm Zorok. I, I want, I'm trying to force him to switch out because I do have the pursuit. And that is exactly what happens. He tries to withdraw the Mew. I go for pursuit, and luckily for me, I get the crit. Now, I don't know if I'm adding in the long run, it meant that he couldn't save it for fodder later on. I think if I had spikes up, that thing would have died anyway. Now, uh, the crit also means that I have to show here that I... I mean, I could have bluffed the choice item at this point, but, you know, I'm thinking, no, you know, any damage on this Vaporeon is nice. But u turn does good damage. This thing is obviously heavily invested in special defense, because why not? This thing's special defense takes my team pretty well. Um, but I'm going to go into Vinto, because, you know, it's a safe switch. If he wants to try and wish pass again... That's fine, um, but I also take my HP back because dry skin is cool. And um, now we're in the mind game situation again where do I click an electric move and bait in Mamoswine? Um, I decide not to, I decide to make the hard switch into Mamoswine. Uh, not into Mamoswine, into Skarmory. Uh, thinking that now he's going to protect, so that's cool. Also thinking now that it's my chance because I've taken down his Sticky Weber and have taken down his Stealth Rock and now is a good chance for me uh, to default first now because I know I can live a scald and I can heal up later on on Venusaur and potentially Mamo. So now I have the hazards clear, it's time for me to get my plan of action to work. Phase 1 is done, Zorok has taken down the Mew, we take the school not not too well really but yeah. Um, I am going to have to obviously switch out here, I have the safe switch into Florgis and or um, Heliolisk. I need. I wanted to try and get uh, healing off onto my Skarmory as soon as possible because I do need it around. Now I should have probably gone into Heliolisk here and started, you know, firing off electric attacks because it does keep this thing scared and it does force Mamo out. Um, but as you saw earlier, he did try and play some mind games with me, so I'm I'm willing to challenge him with that. Anyway, he gets the second school burn off on floor. Just doesn't bother me at all. Better on this than on the Skarmory. Obviously, Slaughter probably killed Skarmory, definitely combined with Burn, so good job I need to stick in there. I still need my spikes to make Darm the huge threat it can be. Um, here he brings in Mamo, which is a fantastic play on his behalf. Um, I go for the Wish here. Now, I'm not sure if I have real Reveal Protect yet, but the only way this Mamo Spine can take out my Skarmory at the range of health I'm at is if he's Adamant Choice Band uh, Icicle Crash. Um, I don't think he'd be Adamant Choice Band at all in this matchup. If anything, he'd be Scarf to try and outspeed my Latios. But that was my thought process. So I'm going to make the switch. He goes for the Freeze Dry, which I did always have in the back of my mind. 
but as you can see, it doesn't do much purely because I am neutral, I have max HP, and Mamo is not the best special offensive Pokemon. Now here, Liam makes another smart play with his Mamo Swine. He played his Mamo Swine very well this game. He had to because this thing was a huge threat once Garmory was gone. So he stays in and continues to freeze dry. This is good on two for two reasons. For me, it's also well three reasons. One for me, two good for him. One for me, I can stay in and just salve my spikes. Um, he only has Hitmonchan left to spin, and Hitmonchan is probably not going to find the time to spin because if he does, it's a free switch into my Mega Latios, which Liam does not want. Um, he's continuously going for freeze drives here. Well, I go for spikes. Now I know I'm playing with the Hacks Gods slash Crit Gods slash Freeze Gods. If Freeze Dry can freeze, I'd assume it can. Um, I'm going to set up as much spikes as I can right now and take advantage of Leon staying in. However, this does obviously give me the mindset of him being a choice Mamo Swine. Um, he decides here to switch. I am effectively managed to get my Skarmory back to full health and set up two laser spikes in that whole um, exchange. But, in my mind, I have Mamo Swine as a choice Pokemon. Uh, so, just bear that in mind. I do get my uh, back to full health. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to try and wish pass or anything, but I can get another layer of spikes here if I choose to, or do I want to keep my Skarmory healthy? So I don't want to keep it healthy because, you know, Mamo Swine is still around. Plus, it also checks Venusaur, so it takes a lot of his team on very well. I also see this as an opportunity to heal my own floor just up, um, or at least get a wish off and then make a switch depending on his switch, because I'm not expecting him to send with Vaporeon. He's seen how well I can take his Vaporeon with this thing. Ha! Puns! Um, so he's not, I don't think he's going to want to stay in. I wish I had Toxic at this point to see if he did have the heal bell. Um, but I'm at half health. I want to get this thing back up. I do have the Protect, which means I am going to be able to safely get my Wish Protect combo off and get back to very high health. But he does make the switch into Mamo Swine. And at this point I'm thinking, hmm, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I still have Skarm as a switch, but I need this thing healed up. So we can do some scouting with Protect here. So I'm going to get my leftovers, but Burn is obviously going to negate the effect of them. And I'm looking like uh, once I recover my Wish, I'm going to be at about 80% health, which is good. It's always good because I can still take on the Vaporeon. Um, I'm going to go for Protect, as said, see what he goes for. He goes for Earthquake. Now bear in mind, I am thinking that he is still choice in some way. Scarfed or banned. Uh, pretty adamant to myself at this point that he is choice Scarfed. Um, because that, that thing can wreck train and whatnot. But... Yeah, we do actually manage to get to about 90% health, actually. Here, I'm going to make the switch into Skarm, thinking he is locked. Uh, no, sorry, into Easy Jet, thinking he is locked into Earthquake, seeing this is my chance to get my free Mega Rock. Now, he actually reveals here he's not choice. He goes for the Iron Head, and that does a lot of damage. And at this point, um, it's just, you know, clicked. He is expert, though. Um, and why wouldn't he be? Because that just completely destroys me. Now, I am not staying in, because I know I charge will do a lot, if not kill me, because I am a fully offensive Latios. If I was defensive, maybe you know, it would have uh, taken it. But now I see this is my opportunity to get my third layer of spikes up. Now I just have to keep my Skarmory healthy. He's going to play the freeze dry game again because he wants me to roost. And it works out perfectly for him because he is going to make the very smart play and click Earthquake, knowing that once you use roost, you lose your flying type for that turn. So, because I am max defense, I do live. That is expert belt mammo fine. That is, that's a impressive living situation because, you know, Mammoth Swine just kills things for fun. Here I'm going to make the switch into Dharma, expecting the Ice Shards to try and kill off my, um, trying to kill off my Skarmory. It was a risky play because Dharma at this point is looking good to go. Um, I could have clicked Flare Blitz here, but I do know he has Protect. Um, after Spikes, Flare Blitz is a two-hit KO, especially as he's a, uh, especially defensive variant, but I decided that I want to U-turn out Seeing how much U-turn done before is a raw, I think a new turn would be good for momentum. Um, I think at this point he has Venusaur, Mamo, Vaporeon, and Hitmonchan left. Um, now, I saw this as an opportunity to try and heal up on Skarmory, because I figured he might want to wish uh, up himself, because he's at half health. It's not looking good for him, not good having a wall at half health, especially when I have Helios running around still. But he decides to click school, doesn't get the burn, which is important later on, as you will, uh, as I will explain. Um, but I'm obviously not going to stay in and play this game, because if he gets the burn, I lose. So I'm going to sit straight back out of there into Vimto, knowing that he can't touch me. Now, Vimto does kind of give him a switch into Mamoswine, 
uh, which is annoying. But this is the point where I'm like, right, I know what Liam's doing. I'm going to have to start playing some mind games with him. So he does protect here, and I'm going to just flip on the ball because I want to get that mammo in. I'm going to play the double on the next uh, the next turn, I'm pretty sure, because I'm expecting him to switch into mammo this time. So I thought I had Liam in my head, but um, at this point, the battle had gone on for about 40 minutes, and it was still 6-4. So I was trying to focus on trying to keep as many things alive as I can. I make the switch into um, the raw, knowing that I'll live a school, hoping he, to God he doesn't get burned. Um, I just want to knock off on this thing, really. So, he obviously has the protect. I want him to go for it. I want him to scout out the knockoff. Um, mainly because I want a U-turn on the next turn to try and get my Latios in for free. Um, now, I'm going to click knockoff, and that's going to tempt in Venusaur or the Hitmonchan, because Hitmonchan obviously resists. And Venusaur will just take it because it's a Mega Venusaur. So, that does mean Latios is going to be able to come in for free and just hit a psychic off, um, which is nice because he hasn't got many things apart from Vaporeon that wants to take it, but even then, Psychic and Draco Meteor after Spikes is just going to kill it. Um, so in comes the Hitmonchan, I do U-turn, I want to keep my momentum because at the moment, I definitely am in uh, the better position, of, um, what's it called, initiative wise, that's the one. So I bring an easy jet here, and I Mega Evolve, and I click Psychic, and it's kind of thinking, shit, he's going to be scarfed Hitmonchan. Um, and then and then my heart sank a little when I saw the opposing Derek went first, and I was like, oh no. But luckily for me, he only went for Mac Punch. I could have clicked re um, Recover there, um, just to make my life a bit easier going forward, but I do decide to just kill this thing off, because it is his spinner, and I didn't want him to spin the spikes, which I had just put up, especially now that Skarmory is so weak. So it's now 6-3, in comes the Mammoth Swine. I'm thinking I need to keep Latios, mainly because, you know, Venusaur is a thing. Um, I do still have Darm for Venusaur. Um, yes, Darm is for Venusaur. But Fit Pack doesn't save it. Um, here he go, does go for the Earthquake, predicting my switch into Heliodisk or Darmanitan. Uh, predicting the Ice Shard. Now, we do live on 2 HP. That is a min roll. That's why the, the fact there's no burn uh, matters. Now, the, the fact that I can get Drill Peg off is huge, mainly because this guarantees Sucker Punch from Zoroark to be a KO. Before, I think it would have been a roll, depending on his investment. I'm thinking he's a bulky set of uh, Mano Swine, so it mattered. You can see the health bar went down quite slowly there. So, once Skarmory goes down, I'm thinking, right, I'm just going to get Sucker Punch. He said he almost made the plan to Venusaur, and that would have been the best play, in my opinion. So, at this point, I'm going to try and sack off my Zorok, um, because that will then give me a free switch into Manatan, who then wins by clicking Flare Blitz. So, I click Knock Off, I get a crit. That does a lot of damage. He does go for the safe synthesis though. At this point I'm thinking, right, I'm going to U-turn out because I'm expecting him to click synthesis again because none of my moves are going to do as much if they're not getting a crit. Any move I go for, probably put him down to about half. Um, and so I thought, you know, U-turn would be the best play. So I'm going to actually switch out from Darmanitan into Darmanitan. Um, but no, this is the real Darmanitan. And here, it's not crucial to the game. It's crucial to the score. He does miss his sleep out. So I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz. And screw Thick Fat, screw Max Defense, because even if he is either of them things, he is still going to die. That's why Spikes are so important. It's still a 2 hit K on Vaporeon as well, but at this point, I don't have to worry about mind games, and I don't have to worry about, you know, losing down at time. I can just switch into um, Heliolisk just to basically take the 5 0 win. Purely because he can't attack me. My dry skin makes his school completely pointless. And all he can do is wish protect. So uh, if he wants to play that game, he can make it 5-1. But, you know, Liam's a good sport. I don't think he'll want to do that. Um, he does go for the protects there to see what I go for. But I lock myself with the Thunderbolt and in good fashion, I end the game with a critical hit. Which, in the long run, didn't matter. It just sped up the process. So, good game, Liam. It was hard to play because Liam's obviously so new to the format. I didn't really know what to make of it. Um... But the plan came off pretty much perfectly without a hitch. We kept most of our Pokemon alive. Um, and we got the 5-0, which more than makes up for our 1-0 loss last week. So good game, Liam. Make sure you check out his uh, version of the battle in the description below. Um, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. Make sure you look out for week 3. We are playing Kelly with the manager of the Baltimore Radio. I can't uh, from the 
Maryland for Terrapin or something? I don't know. Um, so yeah, next week we have Kelly. Make sure you go check out the team builder and battle for that. I have uploaded my team builder for this if you want to go check it out. Um, also check out the PPL links below. Uh, can't think of much else to say. So I will leave you to have the weekend uh, to yourselves. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.